Hello once again, my name is Paul Craddock and I'm a Solutions Engineer for Stratodesk. In my latest video, I'm going to show you how to set up automatic group assignment so that a no-touch device will automatically configure itself ready for use by an end user. I'm going to install the operating system using PXE. Now, if you haven't already seen my video on uh, PXE configuration, then please visit our website for further details, as I'm not going to explain further in this video. So without further ado, I have my internal devices group, and I have set that to automatically assign based on network address and subnet mask. I've previously set up my DNS A record to resolve the hostname TCMGR to the IP address of my virtual appliance. So without further ado, we'll start the installation process. So those who are not familiar, what's happening now is um, the virtual machine is contacting the Stratodesk virtual appliance uh, using the DHCP scope options and is starting the installation process of our image. Once this is first part is complete, then we will be analyzing the hardware and then the installation process will start, which doesn't take very long at all. So as you can see, the installation process has now started and we have uh, just over 40 seconds remaining. Now, obviously, while this was happening, what you could quite easily do is now move on to the next machine, network boot that, go to the next machine, network boot that. So as you, this then becomes a really powerful tool to roll out the operating system to a significant number of devices as quickly as possible. Okay, so the installation is now complete and it's just verifying the installation. And once this is complete, the machine will reboot. Now what's going to happen um, in very quick succession is once the operating system has booted for the first time, we will see um, an automatic assignment appear, notice appear in the bottom right hand corner and the device should then put itself into my internal devices group. At which point, uh, as per my configuration, the device will reboot for a second time and then it will be that once that reboot is complete, it will be ready for use by the end user. And there you go. So we now have a fully configured device ready for the end user. And if we go to No Touch Center and to our internal devices group, we can now see that the device is fully configured. It has its IP address and is showing as on. Thanks once again for watching this video.